So you've clicked this video wanting to host your website onto Google Drive. You're probably looking for something simple and easy to set up, right? Sadly, Google Drive doesn't offer this feature anymore, but I'll show you a few alternatives so that you can host your website and share it with people on the web. So if you wanna stay with Google, you can check out Google Sites. This is what they made to replace the hosting on Google Drive, but there is a problem with it. So you can see here that you can start with a blank site or you can use one of their templates, but there's no option if you already have a website to upload it and use this service for the hosting. So if you already have a website ready to publish, I'd recommend tiny.host. It's super easy and simple to set up and I'll run you through it right now. So I've just logged into the site and this is what the dashboard looks like. To get started, I'm gonna click upload and we get to choose our link name. Now I can use a custom domain, but I'm just gonna use theirs and I'm gonna call this my website. And now we get to choose what we wanna upload. So if your website is in a HTML, a zip or a PDF, this will work super easy and you just click upload file. Right now, I'm just gonna use one of their examples. So I'll click the landing page. You'll see you'll get a few options. So you have this access gate where you can choose to either restrict it with a password or to get their email first. And then you can also hide it from search engines and whatnot. But I'm not gonna worry about this. I'm just gonna click publish. And in just a few seconds, this doesn't take long at all. Here is our link, we can follow that. And now here is the website that we just set up. It is live on the web, so you can share this with anyone and you can see just how easy it was to use tiny.host to get this all done. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more from us, please remember to like and subscribe. With that all said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.